title, The Day the Music Died, comes from the song American Pie by Don McLean, which is a song from my childhood. I can remember very early on hearing that song, and I've always loved that song. And then I hear that it's been used as one of the tracks that was played for sleep deprivation and interrogation purposes in American military prisons. And that changes my relationship with that song, with the lyrics of that song. And there's a piece called Orange Screen, which is kind of interrogating the photograph, the image. It's kind of key images I remember about events in the War on Terror, and I try to describe them purely in words, which tell you what you can see. And when you do that, you start to realise that images, unless you're very careful, don't tell you very much. What you can really see is colour and shape and form and a man or a woman. It kind of decontextualises all the preconceptions about the image. I'm trying to do that with this work overall. I'm trying to look at processes, narratives, complexities we don't necessarily see on our screens. Behind all this work, behind all these redactions, behind the documents, behind the facades I photograph, there are bodies in pain. What I'm trying to do is to draw it closer to other people so they can see how their everyday lives have been touched by this, like the music they listen to. That's ultimately what this work is about. A lot of this stuff is unseen. It's trying to find strategies to bring visibility to stuff which we don't get to see on our television screens, on our phones, on our laptops, on our tablets, through our media. Terror is about the imagination. It's about change making us shape our behaviour, change our behaviour, and that's what we're seeing through legal and ethical changes, what I feel in relation to American Pie. It's changed my experience of that. We know stuff now. We know what people have been doing. We have a choice. Really.